Hey guys! So this is all brand new. I'm using my brand new camera, which is very, very exciting. Um, it's still connected to um, the laptop as usual, but Steve treated me to a brand new Logitech HD webcam, and I'm so impressed um, already. Um, the pattern, I can't actually show you it obviously because it's on there, but th this is the pattern. This pattern is all over my new little webcam, and it's about that big and obviously you can see from the quality it's a lot lot better so fingers crossed it remains um, as my camera and uh, I can start doing some decent pictures and um, videos I am gonna have to zoom out a little bit I think because I'm quite zoomed in and I didn't realize how far it's breaking everything anyway um yes hope you're okay I haven't spoken to you guys for ages I'm so so sorry anyway I'm going to start off with some kind of health and beauty stuff first thing is the Dove Go Fresh deodorant which looks like this I don't know whether it's gonna well, that's quite that's a lot better than my other camera <laughs> um this is the Go Fresh deodorant it's with pomegranate and lemon verbena 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 it hasn't got a focusy thing on it anyway but still um this smells incredible and obviously when um when you're pregnant your whole kind of body temperature is a little bit higher and i'm a lot more aware or kind of self-conscious about getting too hot and getting sticky especially in this heat um so this goes everywhere with me and i absolutely love it it smells amazing i feel so fresh i feel so confident and the, the scent lasts really really you know all day really really long time so i'm loving that um and i got that from i think i got that on offer um it wasn't i remember it not being um full priced in terms of kind of keeping with the fresh smelling and stuff um the body shop do a lychee um selection it's the lychee bod blossom body mist and i love this this is amazing um i spray this before i get to work and then probably about halfway through the day and then again towards the end of the day and it just is such an uplifting smell it's really really lovely um and also the eau de toilette as well um which i got for half price it's four pound fifty and both of these together obviously they're the same scent um but this one goes on in the morning before i leave the house this one goes on before when i get out of the car before i walk into work and it just kind of as i said it's really uplifting it's really sweet it's really fragrant it's really girly summery it's blue beautiful so this one has been keeping me just again feeling fresh and feeling confident because as i said you know i this weather has just been really really difficult i'm really struggling with this heat and every time i move i'm just like sweat it's awful it's so bad um which is why this has been coming in really handy as well this this is a fan and um, this is a battery operated fan um just your average normal um but it also has a built-in squirty bottle which has water in it so if i get too hot i can just give that a little bit of a squirt and you know it cools me down and also the um the the uh, fan kind of dries the cold water onto my face and keeps me fresh and um, keeps me cool for a lot longer i love this love 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 um and then the last couple of kind of you know health and beauty things are the shampoo and conditioner i'm using there's these two it's the dove um hair therapy um series selection collection i don't know and this is the nourishing oil care um got the shampoo and the conditioner um, of the same thing and I actually got a um, conditioner free with a magazine ages ago and um, I always wait with Dove until it's on offer because I find it to be quite an expensive brand especially for the amount you get um, these are only 200 mil and I know with other brands you can get bigger bottles for cheaper these went down to like one pound fifty each so I, I bought both of these it is the best shampoo and conditioner I have ever used um annoyingly i have to go out and get some more and it's not an offer anymore but i now that i know how good it is i will be investing um it just absolutely makes my hair so so soft um so manageable so glossy so shiny i just absolutely love it and i'm so particular with hair care products i don't know why but um things like vo5 i can't use them because they're far too heavy on my hair and it just really makes my hair feel quite I don't know it doesn't it doesn't give the same effect as the dove so i love dove love dove and um i will continue to use that brand now probably but maybe switch it between the other collections that they have within dove but i think dove is definitely now my choice of shampoos i'm going to chuck in another few weird ones and then i'm going to go on to the makeup stuff 
Um, Horlicks. I told you before um, in my last video or in, in one of my last videos about how much I love Horlicks and how I can drink Horlicks. Um, this is the light one and I'm also really, really loving the chocolate one. Um, I read somewhere, I can't remember where I read it, but if you're pregnant then you try and kind of confuse and tease your body. So um, if my body's craving chocolate to drink a hot chocolate and your body kind of thinks, oh, I've got chocolate and it, it calms down. So I don't feel so bad having one of these because I feel that, you know, that's kind of all I need for a fix. Um, so as I said, this is the light one. Um, I haven't been having the non-light one, heavy one, full fat, full whatever it is. Um, um, but also these are rich in calcium as well. So um, it's supposed to make it with hot with water, but I always make it with milk. So just to get an added calcium boost, one of these a day, possibly every other day, because I don't want to overdo it because they are still quite high in sugar. But they really do help me sleep as well. Not that I need an amazing amount of sleep because I'm sleeping so much. Um, this could be this. These are definitely a acquired taste and I know loads of people don't like these but I am addicted at the moment to Palmer Violets and I know so many people hate these but I have loved them since I was a kid and um, I'm still loving them now so even more so at the moment and these are the giant ones as well I didn't realize they did them giant but the size of these things they're huge they're not like they used to be. It used to be like these dilly little waste of time and you could eat a whole packet in one. But these ones, these are amazing. So every time I walk past a shop that... Do you mind? Every time I walk past a shop that sells them, um, I just quickly nip in and get some palm violets. Because I love them. Anyway, that's all the randoms. Um, I have a few DVDs that I want to talk about and then obviously... Um, there's some makeup stuff but I'll go on to the makeup stuff first um, it comes as no surprise because I've mentioned these so many times that I'm loving BB cream um, it's particularly this one this one has got to be my favorite um, if you haven't <coughs> excuse me if you haven't seen it I will put a link below to the um, BB cream review that I did I reviewed five different BB creams um, but I'll put the link to that below if you haven't seen that you, should, um, you know if you wanted to go and check that out you could that'd be nice um so yes this is the one from MUA this has been my absolute go-to product I have about eight of these I think now in my drawer because every time I see them I pick them up because I don't live anywhere near that sells um MUA so I like to if I find them it's like right grab them now because I don't know when I'm going to be around an MUA anymore or around a super drug anymore um I just absolutely love this. As I said, I won't go into why I love it because I did an entire video as to why I love this this product, but this will be in my favourites for a very long time. I know that. Um, keeping with MUA, I've got a couple of things here from MUA, actually. Um, loving their blusher. This is in English Rose. It's from their professional line, and it's number three. It's a shade three. Um, but these are the colours that you get within, um, within this, and it just... It, so loads of people have said to me I've got a pregnancy glow I can't see it myself but I think it might be this because this all the different shades that you get within this really do help to just you know light up the face and just make um you know kind of really um highlight the high points of my face so I've been wearing this pretty much every day for the past two weeks and I absolutely love it it is so soft so velvety um and as I said, it really, really just picks up the cheeks. I don't know if you can see that I'm wearing it at the moment, just on over the tops of my cheeks. Um, but I love it. And then also um, my Out There Plumping Lip Gloss as well from MUA. And this is in the colour Nude. Um, and it's literally just, as the name would suggest, it's just a nude lip gloss. But I love it. Because I've been using it with the MUA lipstick, which is also... Oh, no, this is in Bare. And these just make such a beautiful combination. I mean, this is the lipstick. You can see it's just a normal um, nude, nude lipstick. And then the lip gloss is exactly the same. I love the length of the wand as well. It's great. Um, it's just a nude gloss. But when you wear them together... They look absolutely amazing. It's just such a natural. Um, you can obviously tell because this camera is picking up everything. I'm not wearing mascara. I don't. I haven't worn mascara for a little while now. Um, I've literally just been kind of tight lining. 
I'm putting a little bit of eyeliner on and that's it. Um, as I said, because of the heat, um, my mascara usually ends up halfway down my face anyway, so I just haven't bothered. Um, but the eyeliner that I've been loving is the MUA, is the MUA Intense Colour Eyeliner. Um, it's in jet black. It's not going to pick that out there. Um, but it is just a really, really velvety, smooth, beautiful eyeliner. <laughs> um, I love it. So as I said, I literally just tight line um, my eyes and then just lined my eyes as well. Um, I haven't worn mascara for a couple of days now, um, a couple of weeks even, I think, because I just don't feel like it, you know? I, I don't feel like I need it right now. Um, I am loving my traditional palette from LA Colours as well. This was sent to me by Kimberly. Um, who you guys might know as um, Makeup Addicted Mum, who annoyingly doesn't make videos anymore, and I'm really, really upset about this. I cannot believe some people just upset her so much that she doesn't want to do it anymore. So, guys, I need you to go over there and just tell her how much you love her, and, you know, hopefully she'll come back, because I really miss her videos. Um, but this is the one of the palettes that she sent me, and that huge parcel that she sent me, um, and it's just really, really natural... Um, natural neutral shades of eyeshadow and I absolutely love them I'm wearing them today on the inner corner and then I've got uh, like a crimson in the outer corner but these are so amazing I love these colors they are just 12 of the most beautiful shades um, and they just go on really quickly I'm doing my makeup in the mornings in like 10 minutes flat at the moment which is really really good for me um, and the last kind of makeup product, I've really rediscovered this purely by accident. Um, I was doing a huge clear out again of my makeup and um, I was tidying up in the wardrobe and I found my beauty encyclopedia from e.l.f. And this has uh, 12 eyeshadows, two cream eyeshadows, and it did come with an eyeliner and an eyeliner brush. But these are the colours that you get within this palette. And this is the crimson I was talking about, this colour here, which is just in the outer corners of the eyes. But I have been absolutely loving this palette. I don't, I, as I said, I, I purely picked it up because it was um, in the wardrobe. It's in my eyeshadow palette collection. And then I had a big sort out and I put things in boxes and I put things away. And then, as I said, as I was tidying up, I came across it again. And I just love it. I absolutely love it. They are so nice, these colours. They're really, really wearable. They're really, really easy to apply. I just love them. I cannot express my love for this palette anymore because that is how much I love it. And the last thing that I'm going to talk about, and I'm sorry, this has been another chit-chatty video, and I know I do a lot of them, but... I have been absolutely in love with, cannot express enough how much I love them, old classic vintage cult classic cartoons and old TV shows. For the likes of, for example, this is the kind of thing I've been watching. I've been loving Super Ted. Now this is really, really pathetic because this is obviously for children. And I used to watch this when I was a child on video. For the younger viewers, videos were around before DVDs. This is how old I am. And this has some episodes on it that I used to own on video. So a couple of years ago, I treated myself to the DVD just because I thought it would be really, really funny. And I'm glad I did because I've been loving these DVDs. These, Tom and Jerry. Tom and Jerry is just always going to be an absolute classic, but I, I've been loving it. And Stop It and Tidy Up. Now, Stop It and Tidy Up, again, absolutely, I, I cannot... See, look, this is Be Quiet and Behave here. I'm so sad. I'm so unbelievably sad. You know, it's teaching kids about looking after yourselves and, and manners and stuff, but it does it through the media of cartoons. It's really clever. <laughs> does anybody remember Five Children in It? This is the Sammy ad. How gorgeous is he? I love him. Um, but this is, you know, this is about kids in the Second World War that discover a sand, a, a sand fairy who's the Sammy ad. And I used to love this. Absolutely loved this when I was a kid. The same as Jim Henson's The Storyteller. This is mental. Absolutely mental. So I've just been going down a spiral of watching all these different kind of cartoons. Now, The Water Babies is actually quite creepy, I have to admit, but I still really enjoy it. Um, it's this little, this little boy here who starts off as a, as a human and he falls into the pool and he becomes a cartoon character. And they sing a song called High Cockalorum and I love it. 
And also, the last thing I have to talk about, because I'm, I'm, I'm going over to the bad place now, and I'm getting crazy, um, is um, Cats. Cats, the musical, I bought on DVD, because me and my nan used to watch it on DVD, on video. And um, when, when my nan died, I was absolutely, obviously, absolutely devastated. And for my hen do, my maid of honour took me to um, see Riverdance. Uh, which is a video that me and my nan also used to watch um, together on a Saturday afternoon. My mum and dad would be at work and we'd snuggle up on the sofa with some chocolate limes and a glass of milk and we'd watch cartoons or really whatever was on TV, but it was mainly Lord of the Dance, River Dance or Cats. And I already own Lord of the Dance on DVD, I'm embarrassed to say. <laughs> Went to see river dance for my Hindu and then I bought myself cats so it's you know it's just a nice memory oh, memory cats <laughs> um just brings back a lot of nice memories with me and my nan so I've been watching this a lot as well because um it's the 10 year of of my nan being being gone um approaching so you know so anyway um that's pretty much it that's my random favorite the things that I've been loving so far for however long um hopefully i will try and get some more videos out for you if i can get used to this camera because um i'm hoping i'll be able to do my usual edity stuff i guess we'll find out or you'll find out when you watch this and um thanks guys for tuning in and watching and um yes i'll talk to you all soon leave any requests if you've got any requests for videos please leave them below um subscribe if you haven't already and um i will talk to you all soon take care guys bye